Hey everybody, I'm Tristan, I'm with Good Guitarist, and we're gonna learn a riff today. It's by Coldplay, Adventure of a Lifetime. Super cool sounding riff, sounds really complicated, but it's actually not so bad. Anyways, let's give this a go. So in the intro, I just played the riff like this. But in actual fact, they play it with a capo on the 12th fret. Now that's actually gonna make this riff quite a bit easier, so this is good news. I'm gonna put it right here, make sure it's getting all the strings. And so now instead of having to use a finger there, the capo is holding down that 12th fret for me. So I just get to go, I'm just using one finger. That makes it a lot easier. To start off with this riff, we're gonna start up here, which is at the 17th fret. Now, I'm not sure, you might not be used to playing up here in this area of the guitar. 17 is a lot of frets to count up. So it's kind of easier if we just use this capo as a guideline and we count up from there. So this fret, is one, two, three, four, five frets higher than the capo. So I'm gonna think about this as the fifth fret. It's just easier that way. So I'm gonna play five, zero, five, zero. Now I'm actually pulling those off, so I'm not picking four times even though I played four notes. I'm going down stroke on the five, pull off to zero, down stroke on the five, pull off to zero. So that's the first little chunk of that riff. So the second part of the riff goes, third fret of the B string, open high E, third fret of the B string again, to the first fret of the B string. And as far as articulation goes, down, up, down, pull off. One more time, that's down, up, down, pull off. This is probably the most challenging part of this riff because we're actually picking both notes and they're on different strings. So you might want to practice just going back and forth between those first two notes. Down on the B, up on the high E. Just like that. So now let's learn the third part. So this is going to be all on the G string. I'm starting with the second fret, then open, then second fret again, and then open again. Now for picking, I'm just going down, pull off to open, and then down, down. And that's the whole thing. And it's kind of the end of the first phrase. So when we put that all together, you're gonna get. And the picking for that is down, pull off, down, pull off, down, up, down, pull off, down, pull off, down, down. And that actually, that whole section that we just did, all three of those parts gets repeated. So you're gonna play that whole thing twice in a row. That'll sound like this. Okay, so now that we've actually learned the lick, I want you to practice it by yourself a bit. Get it under your fingers, make it feel comfortable, and then we're gonna try practicing it together. One, two, three. That was the first half of the riff. The second half goes like this. So you can hear that that sounds almost exactly like the first half of the riff. The only thing that's changing is the note that we're starting on and the notes that we end on. So instead of starting five frets above the capo like we did at the beginning, we're gonna just knock that finger down two frets and start three frets above the capo instead. Everything else is the same. We're still pulling off to zero. We're going down, pull off, down, pull off. And then everything else after that is the same. Start over again, right at the third fret. 
and this is how it ends. Instead of playing these two notes again, we're gonna jump all the way up to seven frets above the capo on the high E string, and play seven and eight, both with a downstroke. So from the beginning of the second half, we're going And that's the whole thing. All right, now we're gonna practice the second half of the lick. So you should practice it by yourself, get the fingerings together, make it feel comfortable. And then when you're ready, we'll play along together. One, two, three. So when you put it all together from the very beginning, it goes like this. Okay, we've broken down the riff, we practiced each part, I think we're ready to try the whole thing together. One, two, three. Okay, so that was Adventure of a Lifetime by Coldplay. Super great riff. Um, if you wanna get really good at this, you just need to break it down just like we did. Practice each part over and over and over again until it becomes second nature. That's what you're, you're really just trying to build the muscle memory in your hand, right? So uh, if you liked this video, please subscribe. Check out goodguitarist.com. There's a bunch of really great content for anybody at any level there. And we'll see you next time. Thanks.